Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Bellwitham series. Uh, from the front this time, Albert the First has done his job as king and is being a pretty good field marshal. Uh, we've fallen back in a couple of places. We're no longer as immediately threatening Potsdam. Uh, this bulge has been the same bulge it's always been, and we finally cleared up a couple of small... Uh, Pockets of resistance when Malmedy finally fell after months. Um, we're working on getting Strasbourg to do similar. It should. Uh, and we've split Germany in half. What is your job? Now it's just a question of cleaning up. Uh, meanwhile, on other fronts, as I realized we didn't quite go through that all that well, there's still pieces out here of Bulgarians fighting the Ottoman Empire. Uh, Bulgaria itself is doing all right. You know, this this isn't you know Bulgaria takes over the world or anything for, out of the AI, but it's it's doing something out here. Uh, the Ottomans have been kicked out of the war. Uh, wait, I thought they were kicked out of the war. What are they doing? You no, know, they're out of the war, but they're still in it. That's weird. They've surrendered. They should be done. What is this? Uh, okay. I think it's that they're willing to end, and it's not quite over yet. Because I don't see any Ottoman army doing this. This is all Bulgarians and Austro-Hungarians and a couple of Germans, I think. Yep, a couple of Germans. Well, getting here at least. Uh, holding up against most of the British forces. I probably, seeing this actually pulled off and is happening, probably should have uh, kept my expeditionary forces in the region. That being said, I thought that we'd won. Bad decision on my behalf. Over here, the Serbians are still doing an amazing job holding on to Serbia. Montenegrins ditto, uh, but the Anglo United Forces push uh, that had started and split uh, is now all the way back into Brovnik. Um, which is not all that great, but they are holding on to this piece okay here. Uh, this pocket will probably fall, and that's a lot of forces pinned up there. They're mostly Serbian, and that's going to be a problem for Serbia standing in the war. We'll see what happens. Meanwhile, we're back to Belgium. Now, as some of you guys might have noticed, I am sitting on to a lot of army experience. The reason why I'm doing that is, when I hit this, I'm going to have to redesign all my divisions. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to throw it around again, because what happens is, if we go over here, I get a improved infantry of some form, and I have to then uh, spend to unlock it. It's entirely worth it, they fight a lot better, but it takes time to do that, and actually have it implement, and being in, in as many battles as we are right now, it's not a good idea at just this moment. We need to wait for a bit of a lull in the storm. Also, I've noticed that uh, our king here has done an amazing job so far, uh, but having this one big old front, uh, even with, especially the side piece on the back, is not all that good of an idea. Um, we're not pushing through as amazingly as we were previously, and we probably need to uh, divide and conquer a little here. That being said, I don't really trust any of my generals all that well. They're all around uh, skill 3. Layman's a skill 4, that's a little bit better. Um, but, no, these guys are all like, great. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to uh, divide up the forces. It's not going to be too much of an improvement, but we'll get started on that right now. Uh, the reason why I was trying to do what I was doing was making up for bad generals by making sure the whole front had a decent one at least. Again, I'm only really concerned about this side of the front for things. Ah, oh, boy. Yep, delete that order. Go over here. Sorry, talking and doing this at the same time is a little bit distracting. So I'm going to make Layman in charge of this, because it is crossing a river. That is the job. And his job will be taking Strasbourg for Belgium. To work on it. Um, then we get on to this pile of fun. Um... I'm debating splitting the line again, having a line that is basically from around Berlin area, Greater Berlin, 
uh, to Hamburg and the other part of the line being focused on some Germany. Just talking this through because I need to make sure it will actually work and we don't have everyone running around like chickens without heads. As tends to happen when you start doing this sort of a thing too much in Hearts of Iron. Let's give that him. And reassign the front line here. You. I need your front line to move down to... Uh, yeah, about there. That should do me. I didn't actually move it. What? Excuse me. Why aren't you behaving? Give me a half minute here. We're just deleting all the orders today. I need your line to go from there to there. And then him, he gets his line from Leipzig to Hamburg. This should help us a little bit with uh, managing all of this giant pile of army. Uh, I know we just made this giant pile of army, but it is necessary to just do this for now. That way I can split up the offensives and leave the AI to micromanage it a little bit more than I have to, so you don't have to see me here literally starting every offensive. I know it's fun, but at the same time, it's a little bit irritating. So I'm going to make it such that the front line is to get to this river. In a general sort of that away. Uh, just because I don't want to have them cross the river just yet, because it will be difficult. Alrighty, that should have done that. And we're going to go back to actually recruiting and deploying divisions, because yes, we're low on manpower, but we need more men to actually win this thing. Because the French aren't really helping. They're sort of helping. They're doing that usual AI thing of sitting on the front lines and burning your gas. As always. Well, we're actually beginning to have some resistance up in here. Uh, yep. Rhineland, Westphalia, and of course Rwanda, which has always been resistance since we took it a long time ago. Alright. That bit of management over. Let's go look over here. Uh, a German submarine, which is already damaged, is harassing the shipping. We should do something about that. Oh, our navy is still banged up. Never mind. Alright, there's an assault going into Magdeburg. Probably Italian. Why well, I'm saying it's probably Italian is because it wasn't going anywhere. Oh, no, French. Interesting. Because the Italians have very little men out here, you know. There's. Not a diss on Italy, it's a diss on how few men Italy sent us. Alright. Everyone's a little bit mashed here. Why aren't you doing well? Fortified, large river crossing, yeah. Let them prepare and get in place, and they'll be fine. You... Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you just have an issue. And then you, you, I just suspect it's a lot of enemy, yeah. Superior forces on that side. Alrighty. That's Italy mucking about with our land lease. Interestingly enough, Ukraine isn't actually at war with the Soviet Union. It looks like they've actually split off, as well as Finland. Not aggressive pact with Soviet Union. Non-aggressive pact with the Soviet Union. Yeah, they did it. They've broken off. Huh. You don't see that every day. Ukrainian nationalists have won. Interesting. Alright, these men should be moving up. If they're not for some reason. Well, that's the problem here, boys. Oh, bugger. Supply problems. Right, now I remember why. There's so many Frenchmen sitting around that it's stalling the process. So I'm going to switch them over to him. Because it might not give me the same problem. It will. Okay. I'm going to tell them to start the assault on Strasbourg. Because I have belief that it will work. We'll at least get the mole house. Or, you know, get the side of the river that's ours. Uh, 
as all these Frenchmen just go marching past. And Brits. Interesting. Over here, we are losing at the Sacred Howl. Uh, not a lot I can really do about that. I want to float him down. That really didn't give us much of a chance. What's up here? Sorry if I'm being a little bit quiet. I'm trying to figure out what's all happening in this little war of ours. We're pushing them back off of the Freiburg side of the river. And Strasbourg is being assaulted by the French at the moment. So I don't really want them to join that one. Because that would become French. And we don't want that. 45% against that many men. So let's throw in a few more here. Go there. That should do something. 86. Enemy air superiority. Oh boy, we gotta play around with airplanes again. I love playing with airplanes. I'll take one from Western Germany and throw him back to Eastern Germany. <clears throat> I messed up there. I need to move one from Eastern Germany to Western Germany. The problem is there's only one in Eastern Germany. So we're gonna need to build more airplanes. How many do we have lying around? 60 some odd? 12. That's not going to do it. For 60 some odd, we could actually do something about this. 12 is not going to cut it. Looking around the rest of the world for a moment. I don't know what's happening out there. I'm going to just ignore it for a moment. Uh, the Montenegrin front, sorry, the Cro Montenegro Serbian front, that's also in Croatia, is doing well. They've fallen back and reorganized. Good job, boys. Italian front's doing the Italian front things, and we are trying to cross this river now. For some reason, we're trying to do it in multiple places. I'll take it. Looking at the casualties, just because it's time to always look at casualties. Yeah, 3.6 million dead Germans, a million and a half dead Austrians, a little more than that, but details. And we've only lost 141,000. Serbia's taken the most losses on our side, and they're a rather unpopulated country, so that's going to leave an issue with them. And yeah, the Allies have managed to hold on reasonably well with reasonably low losses. I call that a win. You know, and we're in Germany, so we've done well. Fine. Help on Strasbourg, just so much that we're in here for taking a point. It's apparently our offensive. That don't make no sense. Is that a Frenchman right there? Is it? What? I don't understand anymore. Alright, it is finally 1916, so it's time to get some 1916 things together. Uh, that being said, one of the most important things to get is this new infantry element, because it increases inter infantry defense by 5%, and that's actually useful. Because, yeah, we're going to actually need to ha start defending things well. Over here, the new front line is next to Berlin. I want to hold on to it. There we go, it went to France. I'm only slightly salty. I'm very salty, guys. Okay. Let's get smashing. Everybody. Break the hole. This gives us ten more battalions to throw to the actual front line and get them out of this reserve. What I'm going to do is I'm going to combine him with him and then take some of the men out and throw them over to the other one. Two, three, four... Over to that, and that's how the war of math works. Get these men over here, and then that will do us. And I'm also going to change out the commander, because he has river attack, and he's slightly better, as opposed to just reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is bad, it's actually pretty good, but having that river attack for this river crossing we're about to have to go make will be vital. That being said, 
Uh, now we need to actually keep having our airplanes down here. Because this whole front is probably being held up by the fact there's a pile of airplanes flying around on both sides. Thank you all for watching this, by the way. Um, I know it's been a series that's been on again, off again in terms of quality and the amount of things going on. And I appreciate people watching. Um, as I try to figure out what the hell I'm doing over here. Do, do, do. An extra research slot will make me giddy. Like, positively happy. There we go. Move that around. We have way more men on this front now. They just need to get here. Railroads are being slow. Probably because they've all been damaged from resistance. Damn resistance. Alrighty. Somebody's making the assault at Madiburg. That makes me happy. Uh, see if we can. We can't for some reason. Probably because we just tried to. There's a lot of airplanes flying around here. And zeppelins. Hmm. Interesting that. I remember that, yeah, our allies have a buttload of airships for some reason. I, UK, France, and Italy all have airships here. Where are your fighters? Do you not have any? They didn't make any fighters? Come on, guys. You need fighters. Without fighters, you're not going to be able to do anything with those airships. <sighs> Silly AI. We're holding on well to this bit of defenses. Oh yeah, we're doing great. Pile of Frenchmen down here helping us. Probably the reason we haven't lost yet. I mean, some divisions are not in position. Get to position. Weird. Very weird. Noticing that more and more. That's just a little off. Alright, we have air superiority now. Uh, divisions are still preparing a little. But I think this should actually do us. Some luck in here. Or is it just not because we just don't have enough men? No, uh, we're doing good up there. Beruf. The rest isn't great, but we're managing to hit this pocket near Ulm. Should give us a little bit of a breakthrough. If it actually works. Come on now. There we go. Some victories in this part. These are all decent numbers, even though they're not green at the moment. There we go. We're going back fourth. Probably his air support superiority is lost to one. Yeah, of course it is. Always is. Factories and things are being sabotaged because we have resistance problems. I don't really want to start breaking down too hard on this resistance because we're trying to pick up this land. Uh, so, you know, beating the crap out of the Germans living in it is not a good idea. Generally. Just taking a look at our enemies here, seeing what they have together. And uh, they fixed a few things here and there. Not bad. It means they have 75% national unity, the other guys have 90. Beef. Germany, however, is closer to being knocked out of the war than the, than the Austrians are. And we're not going to be able to get to the, to the United Baltic to Duchy or Lithuania anytime soon, because they're way over there. Um, and Bulgaria is just not our problem. Yeah, we've probably are going to win this one. Uh, that being said, anything can happen in this. So we're going to try to keep on going. There we go, a little bit of breakthrough up there. Spearheaded by the French. Try 
try to get a little bit of a string of victories down here. Doing all right. South is doing amazing for the front. With a pile of French and Belgian divisions marching. That's all well and good. How's the research coming? 20 days until we have Lewis guns to be put into production. Let's try to go up to that faster speed and see if anything blows up on us. I remember we went down last video because it was a little glitchy at times. I don't like it when the game glitches out. It's uh, a scary minute or two there. Because for a moment you're, you're sitting there going, hmm, is it going to crash? Is something massive happening on the world stage? Or is this just, you know, regular border gore? All right, we're going to come in through Kansas, and then probably the areas around it. Hopefully, we can get a, bit, a little bit of a line break here. Mars didn't extend. Excuse me. We have a job to do here. This line is too long for how many men we have on it now. We're going to need to line juggle a little here. This is where war becomes a little bit more of an art form. There we go. It's painting. Tell him to hold up for the moment. As we didn't really get a break through the line, we just managed to push it back. These things happen. There's a coalition assault going on there. Let's see if we can't do anything about it. We helped a little, but... Not enough to justify it. Sorry, Italy. It's your loss. Already. Madiburg, we did not manage to set us from take, but we're still holding on to... Uh, Zakao here. Zakao. And Serbia capitulated. Well, that's not good. They probably take too, took too many losses. Uh, the Bulgarians providing that extra front just... It's too much for them to continue to handle, and that means that we're down an ally, which is not good. That being said, they did take a massive amount of casualties from being Serbia. Uh, the French are finally actually dying, uh, which goes along with doing their job. Uh, Italy has outpaced us in terms of bodies on the ground, however, we still have more war score. And yeah, we're doing alright. But we lost Serbia, which means that this front about to come screaming into uh, the coalition bubble down here or it's going to come into Italy or us which is not good because they're running out of numbers of fronts that are actually competitive which is making me think that we need to bolster the British forces out here because they're only sitting on it with a couple marines and a couple of probably light divisions oh boy we're on low strength with some ships which means there's a naval battle going on and we just lost one damn it the Pinheim. Pietheim. Probably one of those Dutch ships we stole. Anyway, infantry equipment 2 is finally out. Thank everything for that one. And boom, boom, boom. Organization breakthrough is pretty good. Let's go over here a minute. Make sure we're up to speed. We're not. We need to. Make sure all research is being done efficiently. And there we go. We're having... A little bit better odds as we get superiority. We've been waiting for that. Sadly, no one is joining our assaults. Come on, guys. We had a defeat there as we just lost two pre dreadnoughts. Not good. Not good at all. The Belgian Navy it's on its, is on its last heels here. We're going to take a couple off of making convoys and put them to making on the cruisers. Oh boy. We've lost our fighter production again because sabotage. So I'm going to take it off of horse-drawn vehicles. Which are being stockpiled now. Logistics was your time. We're going to need more support equipment pretty soon. Good to know. 
Uh, we can make more infantry if we need to pretty soon. We probably will need to. Yeah, our assaults did not go very well at all on that front. They repositioned fairly quickly. That being said, we haven't lost any ground, and we got rid of this little pain in our neck, so the French should be getting onto the front a little faster here. As the German Navy is coming out of its brokenness and beginning to actually try to do something up here, which is not good. That extra research slot is finally available, which is good. We need to I'm going to get that improved radio for some extra reinforced rate, which is always useful. Hopefully get a little bit of air fuel expansion in here as well. Because I like planes. Everyone likes planes. We have a bit of a salient growing here. That should help. We're actually holding on to it pretty well. By we, I mean it's mostly the French. But there are three Belgian divisions there, so it's we. Oh, ho. Okay. That's not working. Let's just cancel that attack already. Alright, we have an ace pilot. Excellent. I do love getting ace pilots. They do a lot. Um, that little bit of a bonus really helps when you're fighting very similar air forces. That being said, on a fighter wing this small, he's probably not doing too much. So I'd rather have him uh, move it over to a larger squad. For example, these guys. Forgetting how I actually do this. Give me a minute. There we go. Move them around. Uh, just because the larger force will have more planes in it to get affected. Uh, and they're all very, very small because I'm pretty sure they still have the ace pilots keyed to World War II mechanics where you had a lot more planes. Um, so all of these count as small. So might as well get a small one with more planes in it. That's my justifications for that bit of flippage. Uh, an Italian offensive is brewing and it's not doing anything. Actually, it appears to be a French offensive on the Italian front, and it's not doing anything. <sighs> There's still Serbia being held on to here, mostly by Franco-British forces, as you'd expect. Interesting. This resurgent Ottoman chunk isn't actually Ottoman, it's Bulgarian, which is not good. And Aleppo's... Back on the front line again, that's not good. We're going to have a bit of an issue here. We finally got the helmets together, which means we now need to go play around with that. I'm going to finally pick up the early motorized, because I think we're going to have enough factories to be able to deal with that. So let's go over here to our recruit and deploy screen. We're going to edit all of our infantry, because we now need re-equipped infantry battalions. They work a lot better here. That little bit of extra defense matters. And I will save that. I'm tempted to actually pick up this logistics company for this. And I think I'm going to do it. Uh, just because we're beginning to be at the edge of the supply range here. And our infrastructure behind us is being harassed. Uh, we don't really need, need it yet, but it will help a little bit. Alrighty. Those aren't really in combat. We do have a cavalry division. I have no idea where. Ahem, who's the cavalry? There they are. Show me. Where them ponies at? There they are. No? Somebody else is the cavalry. Where are they? 
Sorry, I'm spinning. Ah, there they are. I could switch them off to not being cavalry, but at the same time, I still like the idea of having something that can actually move quickly. That being said, we have no production capacity to go try and build tanks. It's not going to work. Or armored cars, or whatever armored moving quick thing we want to produce. We're holding up these German defenses. And yes, we finally lost the awesome top hats. I am very angry that they uh, leave. I'm kidding. Uh, but we, uh, well, we no longer look like that. Our units now look a little bit French. Like, a lot like the French from World War II, which makes sense because they use very similar gear. Makes sense, really. After all, little Belgium is supposed to only be this, and all of this is France. We're right next to them, and we were allied for this. So, makes sense. You know, gotta use other people's gear. Like, why were you using Lewis guns? No, those are British. Are we using them? Hell yeah. Do they work? Yeah. Gotta make more. Anyway. That's going nowhere. Come on, France. Stop wasting manpower. I think France just uh, said, Hey, everyone's under a million men. Watch this. And it's just taking all the losses now. They're going to get a million casualties before this video is done. I'm nearly certain of it. Oh, man. <laughs> that being said, we are half an hour into this. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'm going to wait for this offensive lines to get pushed off. It's a shame about Serbia. I was hoping they could hold off the entire war, and the Ottomans have gone back to the previous position. Mostly by a German-Bulgarian push. That's not good. We're going to have to send forces in there because no one else will, and we can't let them take Egypt. Yeah. We're back to the Middle East again, boys. It's not going to be fun. Uh, because if we lose the Suez Canal, it's it's going to be a hassle getting British forces around. We all know that the Brits are moderately important to winning this one. That being said, holy shit, we're holding on, and we're at almost Berlin. We should be able to, you know, pull something off here. Our little salient just got kicked back. That's a bit annoying. Somebody's still not using the correct divisions. Why are... That's a change division template if I ever saw one. And like I said, yeah, they don't exist. Right, sure, flip them around. Busily changes everyone's division templates. You guys don't really matter. There's two of you in here. What in the sun, huh? Alright, you're being switched to proper infantry divisions. That should help. Get a lot more men on the front, at least. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, and support equipment and motorized and fuel guns and all that goodness. As we busily flip it all around. Hopefully we have enough manpower to actually support this. We should. Our manpower is actually growing right now, so I'll take it. And... Yes, we are going to have to come to the aid of Anglo-Egyptian forces again, because they just seemingly can't actually hold on to the Suez Canal by themselves. Although, that being said, we're only back to, up to Tel Aviv, G Gaza, not all the way over here yet. But I do not trust them to actually hold on to the Sinai Peninsula. Uh, that's not good, because, uh, oh boy, there's somebody invading through Dar es Salaam? Those assholes. There seems to be Soviet forces helping the Germans. Great! And the Namibia is still being a problem. That's just typical. We're going to have to actually send forces out outside of Europe again. That's not nice. I don't like that. So here's my beginnings of that force to go do this. I'll read it's De Witten de Helen. His job is going to be 
Just hold the line, please. I don't really care about that bit. I really care about the bit by the sea. And yes, I know I'm just sending it in with green recruits, but it's all we can spare at the moment. Because I really don't want to take men off this line. We have a chance. And a lot of this line is being held entirely by Belgians. With a couple of French and some Japanese, but a lot of... You know, two Japanese, two French, one United Kingdom, and two Belgians. Over here we have a couple of Japanese, a couple of French, and a bunch of Belgians. So we we are actually essential for holding this line. And if we start running away off to the Middle East to, you know, make sure our colonial pieces aren't entirely separated from us, we're going to have some problems. Like, for example, down here, we, we need to plug this hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into here and I'm going to take one of our preferred light infantry groups. I'm going to edit it first to make sure it's re-equipped infantry, not the previous infantry. And I am going to give them a logistics company just because it allows them to use less supplies, which is useful when you're sitting in the middle of Africa. Um, I might give them engineers as well. Yeah, I'm going to give them engineers as well. It's going to be a very small company. It's only to be really used on that front It's a light little division, that's the point of it. And we're going to train a couple. And their job is to go off to Africa and make sure that colonial forces uh, can hold on to the colonies we need. Namely, stop this breakthrough from reaching the Congo. Stop that from reaching the Congo, while the others are busily trying to uh, just stop this. All right, we have a lend lease for the United States. Thank you, America. You're in the war, right? You are in the war. I just haven't seen any of you on my front. Hmm. They're hiding. I don't know where they are. Probably in that mess. No idea. I remember there were like 50 of them sitting out here at some point. How to lose 50 battalions at Hearts of Iron. Blink. Alrighty. That's about everything dealt with. We are fending off a German assault at the moment, which is appearing to go nowhere. And I'd say that's a good place to resolve this episode. We did our job. We got rid of the Strasbourg problem. And I've held on to the front line about where it's always been. No real bulge back and forth. Uh, which is pretty good. Uh, we've realized that our colonies need saving. That will be next episode's problem. And the damn Brits can't hold on to the gains that we made in the Middle East because why would they? And Serbia finally fell. That's basically summing up the episode for you guys. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this content. I will see you all next time. This has been Strategist Primus. Hope you've enjoyed.